Hi, my fellow screenwriting enthusiasts. It's Paul from Small Town Movie Critic. And if you're new to the channel, we're all about helping you write that kick-ass screenplay by giving you tips, tools, inspiration, and product reviews. And if you feel this is the type of content that you'd be good for helping you with your screenwriting endeavors, I'd have you just hit the like and subscribe button. Now, in this week's video, we're going to be looking at my five favorite things about Kit Scenarist. I got this idea from uh, Israel Morano from the comment sections from one of my other previous videos. Now, if this video... Now, if there's a video you'd like to see, please put it in the comment section below, and I'll do my best to uh, create one around that idea. Now, before we begin, uh, this is, again is not a sponsored video. I don't get any money or anything else from Kit Scenarist. Uh, this is just about helping people find the best tools that they need to do their writing. So as with anything on this channel, if you need, you need to figure out what works best for you and your workflow. So I might love... Uh, this particular software, um, and you can probably tell I do from uh, having my, my, my favorite five video about this, um, but you need to know what works best for you. Just because it works for me doesn't necessarily mean it'll work for you. So let's begin. Uh, now to get the app, you need to go to kitscenarist.ru, and there will be a link in the description below. Now the cool thing about Scenarist is that it's available for all major platforms, PC, Mac, Linux, Android and iOS. So yes, you can use it on your phones. Now the whole, and there is some differences in what is offered on those different platforms. Uh, what I mean by that between the desktop version and the mobile versions as well too. So you need to look on the website and see what the differences are. Uh, now the whole page gives us the option to download the software, but before we do, let's take and learn a little bit more about the software. So we're gonna click the learn more about button. As we can see, they have a good amount of writers using this program. And the thing I like the most for all the people internationally that follow my channel, this app is designed with the international standards in mind. The software is offered in a wider range of languages and it also has formats that go beyond on just the American film format as well. As we dive a little deeper, we can see that there are five modules that we could use while using Scenarist. And when you install the program, you do have the option not to load the modules as well, which I think is good for the customization of the program. So let's, let's briefly look at the modules. So let's look at the different modules here. So the first module is research. The research module of the program is designed so that you can collect all the necessary materials for the project in one place. You can save basic information about the script, such as name, log line, synopsis, and also fill in the title page of the script. Here you can also manage lists of characters and locations. And in the section two, you can store a variety of materials, text documents, images, links to websites, and many and mind maps associated with your projects, organizing them in a convenient manner. Our next section is cards. The cards module allows you to look at your script in the form of cards spread on, out on the board, thus providing a visual way to work with the structure. You can arrange the cards on the boards in rows or in columns. You can color coat them. You can make notes, group, and lay out the acts, and all changes will appear instantly in the text of the script and vice versa. And if you're tired of sitting at the computer, you can print out the cards and work with the analog version of your story. The third module is screenplay. Uh, make art and don't worry about formalities. The script editor will allow you to think only about the story itself. All the work on the formatting the text in accordance with industry standards, he will take on itself. Just two buttons, tab and enter. Great speed up your productivity with the help of the algorithms for fast changing the format of the paragraph. And if you do not like the standards algorithm, you can configure the program the way it will com be convenient for you. This module also includes a navigator for the script, which greatly simplifies navigation through the text. Uh, he is able to work with notes, search the text, and in general, there will be an inconspicuous assistant in all matters of work with the text of the script. And yes, there are no more dances like with the tambourine for working with the text in Polish, Chinese, Greek, Hebrew, or any language in the world. You can write in your native language, save and load it and load on it. Simple, right after installation. The next module is statistics. In the process of working, you can immediately see how many characters, words, and pages your story is, as well as the approximate duration of the story and its visual scenes. The program supports three uh, chronometric systems by pages, by symbols, and a flexible one, so you can set up its calculation in the way that suits you best. The, the statistics module provides an opportunity to get detailed reports on the script as well as to see the graphs of the character's activity throughout the script and the dynamics of the scene so that not a single trifle escapes from you. If necessary, you can save the reports and send them to the producer or to the production company. And finally, the last of the features, it's really not a module as such, but just some small amenities to help us uh, as writers uh, with our comfort. You can use a dark or light mode depending on your preference and the time of day when you work. Dark is suitable for working in dark rooms in the evening or at night, and the light will be convenient for work with sufficient light. To prepare a script for publication, you, just, you will just need two clicks. The program can express scripts in the formats of PDF, FDX, Fountain, and even DOCX. 
Advanced export settings allow you to automatically add the scenes, dialogues, or page numbers, create a title page, and correct text on the page breaks. And get out and get out the shelf your dusty script, which you have long wanted to finish and import it into the program. The app will automatically determine the formatting of each block, and in two minutes you'll be able to work on it without wasting time on deliberating format importing. Import supports the following formats, FDX, Fountain, DocX, ODT, Treble, and Celtex. And if you want to stay with the text in private, turn on full screen mode and free, and free yourself for the flight of your imagination. So that's a couple of things about the website. So let's talk about my five favorite things about Scenarius. Now, the first one is price. The app is free. You heard me right, free. Now, when I made my top screenwriting video for 2022, I'm going to make sure to add it in because of its such its great value, better than even some of the paid apps that we looked at for my 2021 video about what were the nine best screenwriting apps um, at that time. And you can find that video here. Now, you might be wondering, but Paul, I saw on the website that there was a pro button. So there must mean they're hiding some features behind a paywall. Well, let's take a look and see what it means by being at the pro level. So we click the pro level on the website and we could take a look and see what the paid function of Scenarist is. Um, and what we're looking at right now is placing projects in the cloud. So uh, all the other features that we talked about are free and included. Uh, now, if you want to have your script uploaded to the cloud, it does cost you some money. And you can see here by the different rates what the price would be. Uh, for one month, it'd be about $5. For 12 months, it's about $53. And then this charge, is, the fee is charged for placing projects on a remote server, as well as supporting the infrastructure of the system for collaboration pro work with projects. Thus, only authors who place their projects to the cloud need to subscribe. So if you don't, if you want to just keep everything on your own computer, you can do that as well, too. So you do have the option to collaborate um, online, uh, but it will cost you some money. But for $60, that's really pretty inexpensive uh, for 12 months worth of having your script uh, available to the cloud for other people to work with you. So, But you know your budget and you know what works best for you. So you have to figure out if this is a deal breaker or not for you. Number two, research. Holy cow, this is simply amazing stuff. I love all the way you can add research to your skip, scripts. So let's explore this in more detail. So I'm gonna pull up the program, right? Um, let's take a look at what different things you can do for research. Uh, well, some of the other stuff that I don't know if I really consider research, but I think are very helpful things for your script is you can write a script name. You have a choice for having a header and footer. Uh, you can put the title page. Uh, there's a log line. You can write a synopsis. Uh, another nice thing here is you can add, uh, or there's a, a feature for characters. You simply have to right click and you can add a new character. We've already have one here. And then you can write uh, when you have a character, their name and description. And you have this all this space to do that. You can do the same thing with locations. Um, and you can also add documents for your screenplay as well for research. You can add a folder. Uh, you can add text or so text documents. Um, we'll get back to mind map here in just a second, but you can add images, a URL. This is very much reminds me of what Scrivener would offer. But again, this is free and it has a lot of different ways that you can add research for a script. Uh, as we think about mind map, I'll just put this. As we think about mind map here, uh, this is a nice sort of function. So if we have a character uh, like Tim uh, and we want to add things to him, like he has a cool car. Uh, so I don't know if you've ever used something like this before, but it has a, this function is really neat where you can take uh, different things and, and, and make sort of a mind map and take all those ideas that you have about the character and place it all around here to make uh, different uh, images and stuff to help with your creativity. So, wonderful features on this i uh, can't say enough about research which is why it's my second favorite thing about scenarius number three now if you watched any of my other product reviews in the past you'll know i am obsessed with using cards in my creative process and scenarius delivers i had taken a sample script that i had written really briefly i didn't put anything exciting on here but you can just sort of see you got a nice corkboard script uh, i just love that you can move stuff around real easily um, it's just really pretty neat. Uh, you can delete stuff. Uh, you can sort your cards. 
uh, by by size. You can space them. You can arrange them in different ways. I can arrange them in columns. If I want to do in columns versus rows, wonderful things to do. Um, I can look at them. And the nice thing about this too, so if I delete a card off here, that takes it out of my script as well too. Or if I add something in the script, it'll automatically bring the cards uh, around here too. And if you want, if you're done and you're sick of looking at screens because we've been looking at screens so much, you can print the cards off. It's got a feature for printing cards off. Can't tell you how much I love this feature. This is why it's my number three favorite part of Cenaris. Number four is just the writing processor. Now, what I love about Cenaris is it's simple interface and it's easy functionality. And here's the main word processing part for Cenaris. It's really pretty easy. It's pretty quite intuitive. You're using a lot of drop down menus. It does have some keyboard commands if you want as well, too. I believe it's tab and enter are the two ways that you can interact with this menu. Uh, I personally just select whatever thing I'm going to do, select it, and it automatically formats it to the right spot. Uh, the other nice thing about the script as well, too, is that you can, there's a lot of other different types of screenplays that are present. So they have ones for Russian, one for Hebrew, and I think one for uh, Chinese as well too if i remember correctly um, so there's a lot of different ways uh, and a lot of different types of formatting you can use uh, that you're able to use with uh, scenarist uh, and like i said it's very easy to use you can use it to flip between screens or scenes here over here it'll automatically switch to whatever scene you're at so you can work on that um, scene uh, pretty quickly so the word processing so the, the ease and simplicity um, and the great functionality of the word processing part of Cenarist is the reason why it is my number four favorite feature of Cenarist. Now, if you're finding value in this video, please hit the like button and also subscribe. Uh, it really does help the channel out, and I'll be putting more uh, videos out similar to what you see here. Number five, updates. The last thing I love about this program is that the creators are continuously working on it. They have a feature on the homepage that you can track what improvements they're making and what they plan to make. Now, with this kind of constant developer support, I can see how this program might begin to rival programs like Scrivener and Final Draft. And this is not hype either, because looking at what they've they did so far, uh, if I didn't have uh, the means to buy Final Draft, I would be using Cenaris as my default screenwriting program. It is that good, folks. Uh, and so thank you again, Israel, for uh, pointing that out to me. This has been uh, a wonderful uh, program to look at and to just to get to, to get to know. Again, these are my five favorite things about Cenaris. What do you like the most about this software program? Please let me know in the comment section below. And as always, keep writing. Only you could take those awesome ideas in your head and put them on the page. I wish you a productive and stress-free writing. Um, and I can't wait to see that kick-ass screenplay. So have a great night, and I'll see you in the next video.